So guys, I've moved to yet another part on this huge field. This is a little bit more woodsy, and uh, I'm going to be trying to show you guys today a shelter. Now, as I said in the, another Bushcraft Basics video, uh, I'm going to be getting into more shelters, and the shelters I'm going to be trying to replicate, I'm going to roll in a picture uh, of the shelter I'm going to be replicating, but they're all going to be from the book Shelters, Shacks, and Shanties, and essentially, that book is amazing. If you guys haven't already checked it out, go check it out, because it's a really good book. But the one problem with it is it was made in the early 1900s and so primarily there was no like tarps back then. There was none of the fancy stuff that we know and love today. So all of it was built out of natural supplies, which is a great thing if you want to spend the time, you know, collecting the natural supplies and building the shelters. But the one big issue with it is nowadays we bring tarps out. So now I'm going to be showing you guys essentially my modern take on these new or these old old shelter setups i'm going to be doing new agey kind of showings of it where i'm going to be showing it entirely built out of shelter systems that you can bring in yourself so this is the first shelter in the series this one actually doesn't have a name in the book so i'm just pretty much going to be calling it the advanced lean to because that's a lot of what it looks like but it doesn't actually have a name in the book so the rest however will have names in the book so that won't be a big issue but anyways guys without any further ado i'm going to show you guys what i'm using for this shelter build and build it so guys so the two primary pieces i'm going to be using for this of course i'm going to be using some stakes to stake down the main tarp but i'm saying the main primary pieces of kit i'll be using is going to be this which is a essentially a tarp scrim covered mylar blanket this will be going down on the ground and then this is a just normal tarp or this is actually maybe not a normal tarp but it's a nice tarp by underground quilt company it's called the winter dream 11 and that's what i'm going to be using for the primary body of this shelf you no know, i will say with so, this is with this series this is essentially going to be modern takes and as much of the shelter that can possibly be brought in will be brought in so what i mean by that is stuff like cordage which i'm going to use to help string up primarily most of this tarp will be used today however you don't have to use as much cordage you can find your own ways to customize this setup of course once again this springs back from that early design entirely built out of natural materials. So you can pretty much substitute natural materials wherever you need them to be. So if you don't have something for your bedding, like I'm using the tarp as my bedding, if you don't have a tarp for your bedding, you can always build a pine uh, bow bedding system for yourself. So once again, you don't have to do it exactly like this. But this is just the way I'm just showing it. And once again, I want to do a 21st century kind of retake on this where it's entirely out of new material. So now I have the Winter Dream 11 here all kind of ready. It would be a lot easier if I had another person, but I don't, so that's okay. So now I'm going to take this cordage. And for this cordage, in case anyone's wondering if they want to replicate this cordage, or if you guys want to use the exact cordage I'm using, this is just bank line, so that's all I'm using for this. Uh, but it's not paracord. I usually use paracord, but I've actually gotten into this little bit of love for bank line. And the stuff is really awesome. It's very thin. I love that so much about it. I got it. So that's the cordage I'll be using for the most part is bank line. So another thing you guys may not be able to see is right here i'm actually pretty lucky here because these two are pretty equal to each other but what i'm going to do is there's two trees off to the both both of the sides of the camera and i'm going to run this cord off to both and tie off both of them so that's what i'm doing now so now i'm taking the front of the tarp i hope you guys were able to see i strung that side before tying it off uh, but i'm going to take the front of this tarp i hope that's the front of the tarp uh, but I'm going to take the front of this tarp, and you guys can kind of already get the idea. I'm going to string up the entire front of this tarp to act like that uh, lean-to. Because essentially, like I said, this looks like an advanced version of a lean-to. And so that's what I'm going to essentially build here. It's just a basic lean-to for this part. 
and then I'll do the more advanced part with staking this other side of this uh, tarp out. Another thing I should note, stupid tree. Anyways, another thing I should note is that I set this cord at about head high or eye height. If you guys noticed in the uh, picture there, there was a guy essentially laying down in the tarp and it appeared that he was, he couldn't, there wasn't enough room in his particular setup to stand up. So it seemed like it was naturally a pretty small tarp, and, or not tarp, but lean-to. And so I'm going to be replicating that myself. Putting that head height would mean that I pretty much could not stand up in this tarp. And same with if you were to replicate that action. If you were to put it at head height, you pretty much would not be able to stand up in the tarp. Which is not necessarily, or not tarp, but lean-to. Uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing because if you're using your tarp, or not tarp, if you're using your lean-to as a shelter, you pretty much are going to be primarily sleeping or storing gear in there. So it's not a gigantic deal if you can't, um, if you can't do that. that I did switch it up and I found that the design I'm going after is actually one where the outermost sides of this are actually pinned to the ground to give you some side coverage. So one of the things was I had all four of these loops uh, all up here which is not necessarily correct. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and tension this and with my tarp and every tarp works a little bit differently but with this one in particular it has split rings. And so what I found to do is that I actually just take the split ring, or one of the two split rings, this one has two on both sides, but what I do is I take one of the two split rings, and sometimes even two if I need the extra security, and I just bite the cord around the split ring. And the split ring, of course, provides constant tension on the piece. So essentially, it'll just hold right there. And so that's what I'm gonna do now. So as you can see here, uh, that's what it looks like, or will look like, once I get this side tensioned down. Of course, now the steps are that I have to pin the back side or stake the back side down, and I have to uh, stake these frontal corners down here. So essentially, this will come down like this. Hope you guys can see. And essentially, it'll pin down more like this and give you a, more of a side cover. And I think that's what this advanced green two was going for, was it was going more for having some side cover as well as some over the head cover. So I didn't actually bring any stakes with me, but there's a lot of dead willow here just lying on the ground. So I'm gonna chop some of this stuff up. So now I'm gonna pin the back down and uh, work on getting one pin at a time. So these don't have to be super clean pins, of course. This is just more of a temporary styled shelter. So these pins aren't gonna be like the best or the most permanent, but they're essentially just to pin it down for now.
guys. Almost finished here. Now we'll just have to throw the ground tarp down and it's pretty much finished. As you guys can see, that was pretty fast and uh, pretty efficient. Um, it took me a little while. Uh, once again, I'm not necessarily, I've never built any of these in particular, so I kind of map up in my mind what I want this to look like and then go from there. So once again, this is more of an advanced lean-to because it pretty much gives you sidewall protection. Of course, these are staked down on both sides, so they're pretty rigid. Um, so you can get a good amount of wind, and once again, this protects quite a bit. One thing I might recommend doing is kind of trying to weave this into here, kind of giving it a little bit more upward strength. But other than that, it's pretty much done. So guys, that is the advanced tarp. If you guys like that and want to see more, definitely comment in the comment section below letting me know you want to see comment, more. Comment, like, share, subscribe if you're not already, and that's it for now. I'm out.